What is the trap factor in a software project? I will present a quick and dirty illustration. First of all, we have to talk about what is project fragility. In modern software projects, we observe that often there is a high turnover of developers and open source projects are no exception. So, this turnover makes project fragile because when a developer leaves, uh, there is a lot of skills, of training investment, and of knowledge. And knowledge is the focus of uh, track factor. So, track factor is essentially a possible, intuitive measure of project fragility. The basic definition of the factor is the factor is the number of developers on a team who have to be hit by a truck, meaning go on vacation, get sick, or leave the company, or whatever else, before the project get into serious troubles. So let's try to illustrate this concept. We have a set of developers that own a given knowledge about files that compose a project. So here in this example we have Bob, Alice and Joe. Bob knows about file 1, Alice knows about file 2 and file 3, and Joe knows about file 2 and file 4. So what happens if a truck hits Bob? Basically, with Bob leaving the team, our team overall lose track about any knowledge concerning file 1. Anyway, the remaining developers know at least 3 out of 4 files, that is 75% of the system. But if another truck it's Alice. The result is that we lose any knowledge concerning file 3 also. Now the remaining developer, Joe, knows just about 2 out of 4 files, that is 50% of the system. So at a given threshold, after a given number of developers being hit by a truck, the remaining component of the team knows just a little bit of the system. So, a truck factor is the number of developers on a team who have to be hit by a truck before the project get in serious trouble, that is, before the remaining developers know less a given percentage of modules. Clearly, this definition is very intuitive, but has several limitations. So, we have not a shared and validated way of measuring the factor. We have no reliable threshold, so 50% could be a reasonable guess, but it's not uh, validated as a threshold. We have no tools, and there is no empirical evidence supporting and validating this measure. The first step in the good direction was performed by the Zorka and others. Uh, they fixed the critical coverage threshold and uh, they focused on uh, defining this threshold. So, they also proposed a way to compute the truck factor. So, first of all, we have to talk about knowledge. So, in the previous example, we have a few developers that know about some files. So, how do we measure in practice the knowledge of the developers on a file? Here, we can make a very simple assumption. We assume that the knowledge knows about the file if it committed 
some change on the file. And so knowledge becomes developer committed to that file. This is a, a very important assumption, but makes the computation of the graph factor possible. So we have to compute the residual file coverage. That is, what is the percentage of files still known by the remaining developers when one or more developers are hit by a flood. We can compute this residual file coverage using this matrix. So, if we assume that one developer has been hit by a truck, we can try to compute the worst case, and so we try to see what is the residual coverage if Bob is hit by a truck, Alice has been hit by a truck, or if Joe has been hit by a truck. So, removing first column, the second column, or the third column. In each case, the residual file coverage is 75%. We can continue and consider the case where two developers have been hit by a truck. We can consider all the possible sets of two developers, so Bob and Alice, Bob and Joe, and Alice and Joe, and we find out that uh, the lowest residual file coverage is achieved when Bob and Alice are hit by a truck. We take this worst case as the residual file coverage. So, given that we can compute the residual file coverage for a different number of developers, considering the worst case, we can then compute properly the graph factor. So, here we have a graph, we have the number of developers on the x-axis, and we have the percentage of residual file cover. So, of course, if zero developers have been hit by a truck, we have 100% residual file coverage. If one developer has been hit by a truck, we have 75% coverage. We have computed that before. If two developers have been hit by a truck, we have a 50% file, residual file coverage. And if all three developers have been hit by a truck, then we have a 0% residual file coverage. So if we fix a 50% residual file, coverage critical threshold, we can deduce that the corresponding track factor is 2. So we have to have two developers in our team hit by a track before the project gets into serious trouble. Of course, if we change three shoulders, so for instance uh, 70%, 60%, uh, we can compute a different track factor. So typically, as we raise our critical cover three shield, the draft factor gets lower. In general, given a critical cover threshold, the lower the draft factor, the more fragile the project is. Because uh, missing just a few developers may get the project into trouble. So this is the definition of a factor. Clearly, there are several open issues. So we need to validate the construct. So that is, for instance, the equivalence of knowledge with commit. We have to develop 
uh, an efficient implementation because as the number of developers and files rise, uh, we have an exponential explosion in terms of uh, computation time. We have to validate the critical threshold because, as we have seen, a change in the critical uh, cover threshold changes the, the value of the factor. So, what is the right threshold? And also, we need to have some reference values for the graph factor. Is uh, a graph factor equal to 2 a good indication or a bad indication for our project? Clearly, it depends on the number of developers in our team and other factors, but we have no reference values to evaluate the final number, the graph factor. So thank you for listening to this short explanation of that factor. And if you're interested in this topic of research, just drop me an email, marco.crocchiano at polito.it.